What's up, y'all? I'm Miss Jenny B, and welcome to Cleo's Takeover. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you haven't already, check the links down in the description box to see any previous videos from me so you can catch up and keep up with me, girl. So today, I'm just going to answer a few questions from the Get to Know Me tag so you can get to know me and we can become best friends. So the first question is, what is your name? I'm Jenny B. And I got that nickname from my best friend. Um, I always wanted a nickname for as long as I can remember, but nobody would give me a nickname. So when I got to high school, people started calling me Jay. And then my best friend started calling me Jenny because she was too lazy to say my first name. So then her boyfriend started calling me Jenny and then her mom started calling me Jenny. Well, actually her mom calls me Beyonce, <laughs> whatever. So then I changed my Instagram and my Snapchat to Miss Jenny B. Before it was sincerely J-I-B, which is so freaking lame. So now it's Miss Jenny B, follow me. And that was all she wrote with that name. But then when I got to college, I picked up a new name. Well, I guess I didn't pick it up if I gave it to myself, but whatever. I picked up a new name in college, which was Cleopatra because she's bomb. And so I started captioning my pictures on Instagram as Miss Cleo and like Cleopatra and things like that. And that like picked up, like people started calling me Miss Cleo when I went out and things like that. And then I started introducing myself as Miss Cleo, like I'm a nut, whatever. So the next question is, what is your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is definitely purple. I don't know why or how I picked it up, but I am obsessed. Like literally all of my stuff, when I went to college, all of my stuff was purple. Like my bed, my accessories on my desk, my hangers, like literally everything was purple. I don't know like what it is about the color, but I just, I just think it's so beautiful. It, ugh, I love purple so much. But like when I got back home, like, my room still looks like I'm 12, so. Oh. Next question is, how tall are you? I'm five, five and a half. I guess five, five and three quarters on a good day. Um, I'm pretty much taller than most people. I don't know why, because I'm like average height. But I guess most people these days are short. I don't know what's in y'all's chicken, but y'all need to get it together. Um, cats or dogs? Definitely dogs. Um, I have a dog of my own. Her name is Princess and she's the light of my life. Um, she's a Yorkie and Maltese mix. I don't know how Maltese dogs are, but Yorkies I know are crazy and my dog is a nut job. Um, but I love her <laughs> and she's awesome. Um, have I played any sports? For most of my life, like all of my life pretty much up until now <laughs> i've been a dancer like i danced since i was a little girl through high school and college and um i guess i mean that's not really a sport but in middle school i was a cheerleader for like a little bit of time um but i also begged my mom to let me run track in high school and um the finally the time that she said yes i went to the practice we warmed up and then they were like okay, now it's time to run. I was like, all right. And then they were like, from here, around the town. <laughs> Excuse me? We had to run from the school, down four blocks, up a hill, four blocks back. I was like, bruh. I barely made it around, for one. And two, that was my first and my last practice. Like, I don't know what I thought I was getting myself into because I definitely played my. The next question is, who is my favorite YouTuber? Without a doubt, well, I have, like, a bunch of favorites that um, I, like, rush home to watch. But my top two favorites are Ellery because she's freaking gorgeous. Like, she's so beautiful, and her daughter is to die for, Yoshi Doll. She has so much personality. I love them both together. Oh, my God. And the other one is Catherine Bedell. Ugh, she's so real, she's so raw, and she doesn't care what anybody has to say. And I love that about her channel. I love that about her. I wish we were best friends. Like, ugh, I love them both. Oh my god. This person's calling me again. Hello? The next question is, what is your favorite movie? Um, when I think about anything that's my favorite, it's always something funny or like a comedy because... I love to laugh. Um, 
I don't really like rate dramas or anything. I mean, I guess I will today, but everything else, like I have my favorite anything rated if it's funny. So I'd say my favorite movie is Bad Boys 2. Even though I just watched it for the first time freshman year of college, don't judge me. Um, that's definitely my favorite movie, especially at a time when, I mean, the part when they're in the morgue and Martin Lawrence starts throwing up after the head falls off. Like, I really cry real tears every single time that part comes on because it's just hilarious. Like, that's it. Like, I love that movie so much. And Mean Girls. I think it's very underrated. Like, I think people think it's like a chick flick. I guess it is a chick flick, but I think it's so funny. Like, I feel like anybody could laugh at it. But like, other than comedies, I have favorites that like, Movies that make me cry. I mean, like, a lot of things make me cry because I'm a crier, but movies that make me cry are, like, like, I love those kind of movies. Like, there's some that I love, but, like, I can only watch one or two times. I can't rewatch it over and over again because, like, it really makes me super sad. But then there's other movies that make me cry, like, I can watch 30 times, like, back to back to back, even though it, they make me cry because I just love them so much. But, like, movies that I can't watch are, like, hardball, like... You can't kill kids in movies because that is just like way too sad. Oh my god. Um, what else? Toy Story 3. I saw that movie maybe twice, but it's really like it really stabs me in the heart every single time I watch that movie. I mean, even though I've only watched it two times, like I can't rewatch it because like it's really, really sad. Like I feel like Disney went upon themselves, like took it upon themselves to like close this chapter in my life that I wasn't ready to close and it really stresses me out like the and I and it breathe like it's really getting me worked up the part when they're about to die in like the trash thing like that was traumatizing for me even though they didn't die and I guess they can die since they're toys but like that was very traumatizing and then the part when they freaking when Andy was about to give was giving Woody and buzzing them to Bonnie, but he played with them one last time. Bruh. Like, I, I feel like my eyes are tearing up just thinking about that. Like, that movie is really sad. Like, I feel like I saw it in the movie theater two times. Like, both times I went to see it in the movie theater. And it really, like, I cried for the whole second half of the movie because it's just so sad. Like, they ought to be ashamed of themselves with that movie. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, so other movies that make me cry that I can watch, um, just a, a couple months ago when New Edition, that New Edition movie came out, girl, I was boohooing. I watched that movie four times and it just came out two months ago. I watched it four times and I cried every single time at the end. Like I was, like they was my best friends. First of all, they might be in my head, but like... At the end when Bobby started was dancing and that was just in 2005 like if they went all the way up until like 2015 that movie would have been crazy but um when Bobby came out and was dancing with his friends his brothers but he was singing lead like I felt like I felt so emotionally connected to that movie like I was like literally boohooing all four times all four times because like it was so incredible that movie was freaking incredible oh my gosh that movie was so good and I just knew like I felt like I knew them like I just knew that Bobby want this is all Bobby wanted in his whole life was to sing lead and have his best friends dance in background and sing in background for him like that was just crazy anyway movies that make me cry that I love that I can watch over and over again um let's see my sister's keeper that movie is freaking sad, like super sad, but I can watch it. <laughs> I don't even know why. Like that movie is so sad, but I can watch it over and over again. Um, what else? Set it off. I could watch again, like over again, a billion times. Um, Best Man Holiday. I saw that in a the movie theater three times and that movie is super sad too. Um, I'm DJ Repeat. I watch everything 300 times. Oh my goodness.
what is my favorite TV show? So, like I said before, everything that I love is pretty much comedies or something funny. So, my top three, well, I never really, like, rate, like I said, I never really rate, like, anything besides comedy. So, my top three favorite, best, whatever, my top three most favorite TV shows are Martin, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and My Wife and Kids. I mean, in no particular order, I mean, besides My Wife and Kids. My Wife and Kids is definitely my third favorite, but Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Martin are, like, interchangeable. But other than, like, comedies, my favorite TV shows range from, like, How to Get Away with Murder, Shameless, Dexter, Gossip Girl. Um, oh, my God. Somebody else is calling me. Hello? Hello? Yo. Yo, what's good? Yo, um, tell me you got cash out. So, back to me. Okay, so the next question is, do I have any fears? Um... Definitely, I think a lot of people have fears. I think everybody has fears or something that they're afraid of or um, not too fond of, I should say. Um, mine is kind of ridiculous. Um, when I live on the East Coast, so the weather is pretty bad here. So we get a lot of snow and icy streets. So one of the things that I'm very afraid of happening to me is um, slipping, falling, and breaking a nail. I usually have um, acrylics or like I have long nails and I usually get acrylic over top but I just cut my nails on Saturday um, but I usually have um, longer nails so falling and breaking a nail until it bleeds like that's happened to me before and it's very traumatic and I just hope it never happens to me ever again so that's one of my fears I'm also very afraid of getting kidnapped um, that's always been one of my fears like since I was little um, but like my grandma would always tell me that they wouldn't want me, but I'm sure they wouldn't now because like I would be a pain. But anyway, um, and another one is definitely thunder and lightning. Like I said, I live on the East Coast and we get a lot of stupid weather. So, um, thunder's never been something that I've been fond of. I don't know how people sleep through thunderstorms, like. I used to, back back in the day when I was like really terrified of it, I used to stay in my mom's room. Like I would not be able to be myself. I would cry. Like I'm still not fond of it. Like I don't cry anymore, but it's not my most favorite thing ever. Um, if I was another person, would I befriend myself? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Positively. I think that I'm like a great, I think I'm a great friend. I think that I should be in the Friend Hall of Fame. Um, I think I give great advice. I think that I'm supportive. I think that I, um, I am freaking bomb, like, for real. Like, me and my best friend have been friends for almost 10 years. Like, for, that's a long time, especially for girls. I think that's a very long time. And me and my friends from college, we've been friends for almost, like, six years, for, like, five or six years. So, well. Well, I guess, I don't remember. I'm, well, maybe six years and me and my other friend, whatever. My, def my camera definitely just cut off. I definitely played myself. I don't know what the heck I was saying. Um, so the next question is, what is your proudest accomplishment? Um, without a doubt, my proudest accomplishment is definitely graduating from college. Um, in high school, it felt like I was never going to get there. Like, it felt so unattainable. I got great, great grades in high school. Um, I, like, I was a great student, but I can't, like, I'm really bad at test taking. So, my SAT scores weren't the best. So, I didn't really get into the colleges that I wanted to. My first choice was University of Florida. Um, it's probably best that I didn't go there because I was just, like, chasing a dream. At that time, well... I mean, not just at the time, but at the time, I was in love with Percy Harvin. I mean, I still love him, like, so much. But at the time, I was, like, OD, super dummy in love with um, Percy Harvin. And I wanted to go to University of Florida because he went there, and so did my stepmom. But it was really for Percy Harvin. And um, he had already been in the league by the time I was about to go to college, but I really just wanted to be there. And um, But I didn't get in. And then I didn't get into my second choice, which was University of Maryland. 
And then my third choice, which was Central Florida, but I ended up at my safety school and I loved it. Like I wouldn't trade it for the world and I'm so grateful that I was able to go there um, because it was awesome. I made lifelong friends. I, I got good grades second semester freshman year throughout college, but first semester was like terrible for me. I got every grade you could think of. I had five classes and I had an A, a B, a C, a D, and an F. And it was traumatizing. I never got those, I never got like bad grades like that ever in my whole entire life. And I was traumatized, but that never happened again. <laughs> I got myself together. So I think it did pretty good. And then like at the end, walking across the stage and seeing my family, all of them like, Literally, all of my family just there, proud of me, clapping for me, happy for me. It really brought tears to my eyes. Like, I literally cried. Like, it was just so amazing. And my friends, it was just so amazing. It was such an amazing experience for me. So the next question is, who is my favorite artist? Um, I don't know if this counts since we're related. Like, we're legit family. But my favorite two artists are um, my auntie, Queen B, Beyonce. And my sister, Rihanna. Like, I don't understand how people don't like those two. Like, Beyonce, for one, is the greatest entertainer of all time. Like, okay, so maybe, I mean, obviously, Michael Jackson is the greatest entertainer of all time. But Beyonce is, like, the female reincarnate. Like, she is incredible. Like, I saw her in concert four times. And that was enough for me to know that she has a gift like she is incredible oh my like really seriously anybody who doesn't like Beyonce I feel like you guys have a problem within your own self like your own heart like only haters don't like Beyonce seriously seriously you a hater if you don't like Beyonce for real be like who doesn't like Beyonce um next question is do, do I have any pet peeves uh absolutely and um I feel like I only have one. I don't think I like anything else really grinds my gears as much as this one, but um, definitely like smacking or chewing on your gum like with your mouth open. It's like, it's the most simplest thing to not do. Like I really don't get why people do it so often. And it's so obnoxious, it's so disgusting. Like all you have to do is literally close your mouth while you're eating. That's it. Like, all you have to do is chew with your, like, chew with your mouth closed. And then if your gum is too hard, just spit it out. Like, that's got to be the simplest thing. Like, the easiest fix ever. But people just don't, like, they just like to chew with their mouth open. Like, they just like to be nasty. That is so disgusting. Like, my best friend does it all the time. And I really just be ready to kick her out. Like, bruh, you got to chill with that. Like, stop. Oh my gosh, another one just came to my mind. When people pick in my food, oh my goodness. Like if I'm eating something and you think it's okay to take your fork or your hand and grab into my food without asking me, I'd really be ready to bite people's fingers off. Like, don't be disrespectful. Um, is there anything you wish will come back to fashion? Definitely jersey dresses. Me and jersey dresses never got a shot. Uh, my mom never bought me a jersey dress, so I missed out on that craze, so I'm ready for it to come back. I always wanted to take my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend, go to Six Flags, me having a jersey dress, and he got on the throwback, but I never had a boyfriend. I mean, whoa, well, I was like too young back then, but whatever. Um, also, velour suits. Bring back our velour suits. Hashtag bring back our velour suits. I love freaking, I love comfortable clothing, so, um, I love comfortable clothing. Come on, she needs to get it together. I love comfortable clothing, so, like, velour suits were my thing. Like, I had a pink velour suit, I had a gold velour suit, I had a black one, I had a pink juicy couture suit. Ugh, I love velour suits. Like, my, I remember my first day of fifth in, or sixth grade, I can't remember which one. I had a... Baby pink Rockaway velour suit with some white and pink 12s. I was fly. Girl, I was fly. 
you and I had that outfit picked out for like from like a week. Usually you pick it out the night before and like your mom gets you a new fit for school. I had that jump picked out one week before school. Like I knew I was about to be fly. Bring back our velour suit. Well, that's all for this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Other than that, I'll see you in my next one. Peace.